Good evening, everybody, and blessings and love and peace in our Lord Jesus. Okay, you guys. Um, well, this is a type of video I really don't like doing, but um, it just seems like I, I, I have no choice, you guys. I just have no choice. Um, and I'm going to be bringing the truths and the facts of everything that is going on here and uh, and what really started all this and everybody's like what in the world's going on well there is being a, an attack a spiritual attack and a physical attack on the body of Christ on the believers of our Lord Jesus Christ in the grace community not the law in grace but the grace community and this war has been waged by one man and uh, several of the women and there was one man but he's no longer with them because he said he had to come out of them uh, that are in this camp and um, well they have attacked I know of as of right now I'm gonna say 12 different people and I'll name two others besides Amanda and I well I'll name a few They've attacked Lashara Pinckney. They have attacked Kim Fisher. They have attacked um, Patrick L. They have attacked me. They have attacked Amanda. They have attacked Colleen Minter. They have attacked um, Chad Watchman on the Wall 88. Uh, so bad that he had to take down his channel. As a matter of fact, he took it down twice. Um, I think he has it back up now, but wow, he's uh, still out of sorts about all this you guys <clears throat> but right now what is being put out about me is well comments comments that I have made and um, I'm just gonna tell you right now I have no shame in the comments that I put out uh, to me they are absolute truth and they're absolutely the way I feel I am a human being I have blood and flesh <clears throat> and um, these comments have been put out after five months of attack. Now, he's trying to say that we are the ones putting stuff on everybody's walls, which is not completely true. And he's saying we've been doing it for five months, which is not completely true. What is completely true is the first five months that uh, there was a two-month attack upon Amanda and I. I had put out, I think, maybe five comments, and they really weren't that bad. And... Uh, one of them was saying, um, I'm so sorry, sister, because she was crying and she was saying she was sorry about everything. Um, <clears throat> and I said, I'm so sorry, sister, that they're coming against you like this. And I, I can't even believe that your sisters are not coming over to console you. And then I received an email about after that. And I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, but... I just want to say that those first two months I did not make not one video. I did put like five comments and that was on two different people's walls um, and that's it and they really weren't that bad. Now the comments that he has coming out now against me are the ones I think that are on Patrick L's channel and again I'm going to say that I am not saying I'm sorry for him because I absolutely believe it. Um, I have never seen anything like this in my entire life where even a church was concerned. Uh, and I do want to say that prior to the memes that is being said is what started all this. That's a lie. What started all this was a dream that Amanda had about um, David and his wife. And Amanda started the car for David and his wife. Now Amanda's name means love. And so love started the car for them, but they wouldn't get in it. Okay. Um, now, like I said, the attack started prior to the memes. And he says it was a week's worth of memes, and that's not true. She says there was two of them. And um, as a matter of fact, it does say in the email, she says, that's not even mine. He says, oh, well, maybe that was somebody else's. Uh, but David likes to dictate and uh, correct people and tell them what they should and what shouldn't be doing and what they 
should and shouldn't be teaching and uh, well he thinks it's either his way or the highway and if you're not doing it exactly his way well then oh boy there's going to be a big huge attack and so back then I was not putting I said I put five comments and they were relatively small uh, most of them and I did no videos and I sat back and watched him and several other people in his camp make many videos about me and Amanda saying that we had the Jezebel spirit behind us um, as a matter of fact Mr. Christian had posted and again he has apologized to us and I, and I thank you so very much and I am so glad that you're out of their camp uh, I don't know what you believe, and, and, and it's none of my business right at this point what you believe. Um, all I know is it's a good thing that you got out of their camp. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But he had posted when he was in their camp, and I hate to use the word camp, that's the only way I know how to put it, you guys, on, on his, his subs, one of the subs over there on his videos, uh, his channel. And... Um, he had put out a posting at 5 o'clock in the morning after attacking us that night and marking us. Whenever he marked me twice and he marked Amanda once with a scripture. And he said he was going to do it on the video that he had put out that night. He had put out several videos and some of them were about the Jezebel spirit and other things against us and he, him standing with David. Okay, so... That morning, he had put out our names, said our names, and David had come on there, and I do have a screenshot of this, uh, that he said to Mr. Christian, I didn't tell you to put their names. Well, what did you tell Mr. Christian to do, David? That's the question. Well, I'm pretty much going to say that he told him to go on and slander our names, is what it sounds like, and that's pretty much what happened. Um, and, well, during that period of time, like I said, I did not make any videos. I made a few comments. I only said David's name one time, and that was to Mr. Christian because of the video that he had made. And um, he had asked me, he says, well, you know, I don't know your side of it. You're, you, none of you are speaking out. So I, I told him my side of it. I put the whole, I put everybody's name, put everybody's name, and I told him my side of it. Um, and then after that, after those two months, everything quieted down for about a month. And then David started lying on me again. And I put out the video trying to clear my name that that was a lie that he had said about me. And then, of course, um, after me putting out the video uh, that I had put out trying to explain that Loving one another has not replaced loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And that we do on the inner man love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and strength. And after that, again, the attack started on me. Uh, Petrus had put out three videos, but she's taken two of them down. But I do have the one that she's got my picture up there, my whole channel, everything. And she's slandering me. And, um, you yeah, know, it is what it is. And so at that point, yeah, I put a couple of comments on three different walls. And one of them is Patrick, because out of the blue, <laughs> out of the blue, Patrick started making videos probably, I don't know, four or five days ago, something like that. And I was like, whoa, because somebody sent it to me in an email. He said, check this out. Patrick's making a video about the heart and the head knowledge. And, um... Well, anyways, I'm going to say, you guys, I'm trying to make this video fast, but it's not going to be fast because there's so much to say. But I am going to be putting other videos out. I do stand by my comments. We did not do it for five months. Okay? Um, I did it five times. Oh, about almost two months ago. I didn't put any videos out. Amanda did put, like, five videos out defending herself. Um... And then also, I did it again now because of what you've been saying and lying on me and now accusing, accusing me of vicariously keeping the law. And I'm going to say, you guys, poor Amanda, poor little Amanda, bless her heart. She was pregnant, high-risk pregnancy. 
taking four insulin shots a day. She's a diabetic, couldn't eat anything hardly, high blood pressure. She's being told that she may lose the baby. And I asked them, I, I had that comment too, and I had the time stamp on it. Uh, I asked them to please stop. Please stop harassing her. And they made 34 plus videos those two months, you guys, calling, saying we had the Jezebel spirit behind us and just being ugly, being very ugly, very, very ugly. And this all started with a person's dream in his camp. And she went to Amanda the very next day after they had um, a dispute in the emails. And by that time, because Amanda had been attacked by him prior to that, she was sick of it. And she basically, <laughs> she sprouted off a few things there that she shouldn't have said. And now she's apologizing for it. And you know what? We're all, every one of us have all said something or done something we ought not have done. But you know, that's why the Lord Jesus came uh, because of our sin, because of the things that are not appealing to him. And he has given us grace. He has given us mercy, love, and forgiveness. And uh, we're supposed to bear with one another in love. And I pray that you guys do with her because she was going through so much back then. And uh, at that point where the memes were concerned, well, she had basically had enough of his correction. Enough of his jabs, enough of his sarcasm, enough of him doing videos about her prior to that. Just enough. Uh, he's been attacking people in the body of Christ now for months and months and months. And like I said, it's been at least 12 people that I know of. And um, it's just been a mess, you guys. I've never seen anything like it in all my days. And yes, she did sprout off. She did say some things she shouldn't have said, but, you know, she was angry. And we do have a righteous anger in us. We, there, are, there is a time to be angry. And, um, you know, he's passive aggressive. And, uh, like I said, at that point, I wasn't making any videos. I wasn't making any comments. I have made comments now, and I stand by everything I've ever said because I'm tired also of being attacked. I'm tired. Now I'm being called a witch and that I'm vicariously keeping the law and that I have the Jezebel spirit behind me and she's being called a filthy dreamer and um, well I'm going to be putting out some videos explaining every little detail of every little thing. Uh, I just want you guys to know and understand that this was happening prior, prior to the meme. And the girl that went to, day, to uh, Amanda after the meme the very next day was telling Amanda three dreams about David, and she likes David, and she's still in David's camp. And her name is Anne. And um, she went to Amanda about uh, three dreams, that, three bad dreams that she had of him. And um, I don't remember the details of it except for one of them where he had no lights in the house. There was no light, no light in the house that he wanted Amanda. And she was in the dream that Anne had had. Uh, he wanted her to, to purchase the house with him that had no light in it. And in the dream, Amanda said, no, no, thank you. And then he had approached, I believe, in the dream, and I might be paraphrasing this wrong and saying it wrong, but it's pretty much the gist of it, uh, Anne and her family to come live in that house. And there was no lights. The bathroom was broken. And uh, you guys can figure that out. You know, the bathroom is where you purge um, things. And, well, the light, the light is Jesus. But there was no light in that house. And there was a black dog at the end, and the black dog belonged to David. And we know that the Gentile in the Bible is a dog, known as a dog, a goyim, or an unclean thing. And, uh, well, we have believers that are, um, that are known as Gentiles, and we have unbelievers that are known as Gentiles. And, you know, bas basically in the Bible, there were two types of peoples. There was either you were an Isra Israelite, a Hebrew, or you were a goyim, you were an unclean thing, a Gentile. Well, this dog that belonged to David was black, 
uh, black in the Bible is in reference to sin and the dog belonged to David and there was a three-headed three-headed bear there and the three-headed bear had mauled the head of that black dog off now she went to Amanda not knowing that David and Amanda were having a fallen out falling out and she, but she was just befunkled by these dreams she was having about this man she didn't understand it and I don't remember the other two dreams you guys but all I know is is <laughs> I'm gonna say this I've never seen anything like this I've never seen such division in the body of Christ because of one man I have never seen so many bad dreams about one person now he says even the church that he was attending that he had had 30 people at a time having bad dreams about him 30 of them one time and this is supposed to be a, a spirit-filled born-again church but he chunked that off just like he does with us and everybody else. I know of probably about 21 dreams about him right now. And, and only a few from Amanda, but the rest of them are from a lot of other different people. And they're not good. They're very bad dreams and also audibles. And um, it's not good, y'all. So he chunked it off as they were attacking him. And they have the Jezebel spirit behind them because he's such a good teacher and well it's happening again here on YouTube oh my goodness you guys there's been so many dreams and dreams that I don't know about that I'm seeing in the comments people are saying yeah I had a dream I had a dream and I'm saying I'm seeing it on other people's channels too and then people are saying yeah I, I couldn't listen to them there's just something that's not right and then I had one person say yeah and these people these girls they're, they're like the mean girls that follow him you guys, I have to tell you on this because the opposite is being said. It's being said that we're the ones attacking. And since the last video I did, and I was going to do part two, and I went into prayer about it, you guys, because I don't like confrontation. I do have the Lord Jesus in me. But they have made probably anywhere from 60 to 70 videos since that video about Amanda and I saying horrible things about us. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to cut this off here, and I just want you guys to think about something before I go. Think about 30, 30 different people. They're supposed to be born-again believers, and they're having dreams, about bad dreams about this man. And also, he was called a false prophet in one of the churches, a mega church he was in. And, well, a false prophet can also be a false teacher, known as a false teacher. And, you know, he does have some good teachings, I will, I will say that. And he is very intelligent, so intelligent that he's very ma manipulative and cunning, um, which is something that Satan likes to use as a device. Um, but 30 people in one church, and he's chopping it off as a Jezebel. And then now I know of... 12 people that have had dreams about him and there's many many more people that I don't even know who they are I've seen them in comments and stuff um, that have said the same thing why are so many spirit filled the Holy Spirit of truth as in a believer how why is there so many spirit-filled believers having dreams about this man why is there so much division surrounding this man i'm just going to leave you with that and i'm going to say love amanda she was having a hard time then she was being attacked way before that and no we haven't been putting things on people's walls for five months they've been doing that well they did it for two months i'm not gonna lie they did it for two months it stopped for about a month and now they've started up again in the last month and a half or so somewhere in there and uh and it just goes on and on and on and on they just they just keep on you guys and 
I've had enough now, and I'm going to speak out, and I'm going to be doing a few videos um, proving all this, what I'm saying to you, with timestamps and things like that, and dreams. I mean, not dreams, but um, videos is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, it's not a good thing. Please pray about this. Pr please pray for discernment about this. Please pray um, for the people that are being brainwashed by this person and being told something completely different than what actually happened. Uh, for them to somehow wake up out of their slumber and uh, realize that I am not vicariously keeping the law. And one of these people are somebody that was very dear to me. She is still very dear to me. I love Colleen. Uh, I love the other sisters. And, well, there's been some ugly things and lots of jabs at me. And I'm sneakily... I'm sneakily preaching another gospel. And... Uh, Unfortunately, and fortunately, and I was the one that solidified her in grace. She was in a lot of fear, a lot of condemnation, and, um, well, it's just sad that it's turned out this way, you guys. It's very sad, and it's all because of one man, one man, one man that has attacked so many people and I'm going to prove it so anyways you guys have a blessed night tonight and please pray for me because I'm not going to stand down okay um, and I'm sorry if you don't agree with what I'm doing but I just feel like I have no choice my my reputation is being so slandered it's not even funny And uh, but anyways I love each and every one of you and you guys have a beautiful and blessed night in our Lord and please give a man the grace understand that she was irritable back then <laughs> she was upset she was pregnant and she was having so she's puking every day every night for her whole pregnancy a lot of women only do it for a short period of time but not her and they attacked and I asked them to stop and they kept on and kept on and kept on at that point in time and I was not making comments. I made like maybe five. Maybe five. I did no videos as opposed to their 34 plus videos and all their nasty slander. So anyways, good night guys. I'll probably be, probably be back with um, a, another video or two. Anyways, good night. And amen and amen.